Tara, you're chasing a story that's on the front page of the Daily News, the New York Post. Young, attractive, intelligent, successful mother of three, seemingly had it all, found dead in a doorway in Chelsea. What do you got? Yeah, that's exactly right, Bill. Uh, take a look at this woman's Facebook page. A beautiful young mother, her handsome husband, adorable children. Kirsten Cervini seemed to have it all, but not all that glitters is gold. From the top of the world in her $1.2 million mansion in Manhasset, Long Island, to the bottom of a staircase in Chelsea, that's where Kirsten was found unresponsive early yesterday morning. She was taken to Lenox Hill Hospital where doctors couldn't save her. Now, a doctor herself, both Kirsten and her husband are dermatologists. She was educated at Tulane, getting her medical degree at Duke. The young mother was certainly entitled to let off some steam, and that's exactly what she said she was doing on Saturday evening. She told her husband she was going for a ladies' night out in Manhattan, and she never returned. The reports say that she did stay out till 4 a.m., then came back to this apartment building you can see right behind me here on West 16th Street. Surveillance cameras caught her with two men, one who was reportedly a resident of the walk-up. Now, later, those same two men were caught on surveillance camera, reportedly carried her down the stairs, one of whom fled immediately, the other called 911 and then also fled. Now, what happened in those hours in between, Bill, is what we're not so sure about. We have heard some reports from a source inside the building that did say that she was reportedly involved in a cocaine and booze bash in one of the apartments behind me here on West 16th Street. Now, a lot of people have taken to her Facebook page, including one young mother who says that she takes her whole family to Kirsten's dermatology practice. She was a lovely young woman and tried to defend her, saying that she would never be involved in such a vile party. It's a very safe neighborhood. I've been working here for many years and uh, it's very surprising. What I can tell you is that we lost a very bright light. She was originally from New Jersey, Bill, yeah. and she actually was crowned Miss America Junior Miss in 1995. Now, I know, you know, 95 is 20 years ago, but she was America's Junior Miss. That's an organization that prides itself on scholarships, you know, the performing arts, education. It, it's shocking to know of a woman who was so successful in that program to have such a fall from grace. You know, we don't know the details. I hear this and I think it sounds very much like a, a tale of two women. You know, two completely different stories. One is the doctor respected in the community. The other one is, is up to something, or at least that's what it seems like on the surface. Telling her husband, I'm going out on a girl's night out. Then you end up somehow with two guys in Chelsea. And either he knew that, you know, she was blown off steam in a way that could potentially put her in danger, or he had no idea and really thought, hey, she's out with the girls, blowing off steam, having a good time. And all of a sudden, you know, your, your wife and the mother of your kids doesn't come home because she's dead. It's got to be such a traumatic experience. I, I can't, I can't imagine. In a late breaking update into the Kirsten Cervini case, the two men that she was with being reported by multiple sources as being HBO producer Mark Johnson, as well as the other gentleman who is allegedly his drug dealer, James Holder. For the very latest, we'll keep you updated on this investigation right here on Chasing News.